Don't mistake salt for sugar. If he wants to be with you, he will. It's simple. Everybody. welcome back to my channel it's your girl I got is here and I'm back with another video first of all let me say happy 2018 wait happy new year I'm so ecstatic that we have made it y'all we have made it through another year 2017 went like that literally like am I the only one that feels like 2015 literally flew by like I can still remember exactly where I was um, at the end of 2016 going into Mm. I can remember exactly where I was in 2016 going into 2017 and it's just like now we're in 2018 already like time is so important man like y'all life goes so fast so it's so imperative and it's so important that you really are careful what you do with your time who you spend your time with how you spend your time all that good stuff because like everything is just happening so quick today's topic is going to be about starting over and being completely okay with letting go of things that are no good for you. And um, I really wanted to release this video because, you know, it's it's a new year. And um, as cliche as it sounds, you know, it's so important that you don't carry over negative things into the new year um, that weighed you down last year. If something is not good for your spirit, whether it be a person, whether it be a thing, whether it be a bad habit, whatever that thing is, don't carry that baggage and that negative weight over into the new year. Because again, time flies so quick and before you know it, you know, six months have gone by and one year has gone by. You haven't accomplished any of your goals. Um, you know, you've just been having setback after setback. You've allowed yourself to slip again and again. And, you know, the same goals that you set for yourself last year in 2017 and 2016 are still just sitting on the shelf waiting to be tackled. So it's really, really important that, you know, you understand and, you know, try to pray for discernment and know when something is not good for your spirit and when you need to purge yourself of things that are no good for you. Anybody want to tell me why I'm drinking lemonade out of a coffee mug? Like, look, I think I am. <laughs> but this is what I say about a relationship. Stop trying to convince yourself that a relationship is something that it's really not. Stop trying to tell yourself that he's going to change. Stop trying to tell yourself that he's going to, you know, be this whole new man for you, sis. Let me tell you something. If he's a grown man... Nine times out of ten, he already knows what he wants. One thing that I have learned is that you cannot convince a person to see the greatness in you that you actually have in yourself. If a guy wants to be with you, I mean, of course, I'm speaking from, from a female perspective. If a guy wants to be with you, he's going to be with you. Um, I, I don't know if you guys know of the book called... Um, Milk and Honey um, by Rupi Carr or however you say her last name. She wrote a book and um, you know it's just like basically full of like short poems and different things like that and one of the poems that has always stuck out to me from the time I read the book was don't mistake salt for sugar if he wants to be with you he will it's simple. Don't mistake salt for sugar if he wants to be with you he will it's simple. And to me like when I tell you I was just like hey that quote is so real because it's just like seriously y'all gotta think about it if you mean this much to a person if you are this special to a person and if he really values you and he values your presence he is going to do everything in his power to keep you around he, he's not going to be content with you leaving his life because the reality is that you mean that much to him and any person that you mean a lot to they're going to chase after you they're going to fight for you and whatever it is you guys will work whatever issues or insecurities or, or anything like that you have you guys will work through those things together because that's how bad he wants to make the relationship work. The thing about it is that you are amazing. Not every guy is going to be able to see that in you. And that doesn't make them a bad person. That just means that they haven't reached that level of maturity yet to be able to comprehend when they got a good woman in front of them. Never mistake intuition for insecurity. Like, seriously, that's one of my favorite quotes that I live by. Never mistake intuition for insecurity. Knowing when to walk away from toxic relationships and toxic things takes a lot of maturity. Um, it takes a lot of prayer and it really just takes a lot of confidence and you saying, you know what, I, I like this person. I want this person in my life, but the reality is that they are not good for my spirit and I don't want anything, anything that's not good for your spirit. You need to completely get rid of it. Okay. I was still recording. <laughs> Ultimately, in this year, I definitely want to do a lot 
of self-reflection. I want to focus on myself a lot. This year is going to be my selfish year. I'll be honest, guys. And I really want to learn how to spread my energy and to not give my energy to things or to people who don't deserve that energy. What happens too is that when you place yourself in toxic environments or toxic relationships, like eventually you're going to get drained and people are going to just take from you and take from you and take from you like leeches and suck the life out of you and there's going to be no more of you to give. And just be careful because energy can be very, very contagious and if you allow that toxic energy to get into you, then ultimately that's going to leave you you unhappy. So I hope that I didn't talk you guys' head off too much. I don't want this video to be very long. It's almost midnight. Um, I'm sleepy. Also, um, before I go, I definitely wanted to show you guys something that I got from a fellow small YouTuber. One second, I'll be right back. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm like very excited. I got my planner in the mail. This came from a fellow small YouTuber. Girl, forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong. I'm so sorry. This is her. Her name is Satin Marche or Satin Marsh Marsh. I think it's Marche. This is her YouTube channel for any other YouTubers that have seen her. Um, she's really, really dope, very positive. And um, she actually inspired me to, she actually created this planner herself, which I think is like really, really, really awesome. I'm all for um, things like this. support black businesses, y'all. Support black businesses. This is just like a, um, it's like a, a YouTube planner and like slash calendar. And she has like a, a nice little like quote for like small YouTubers at the very beginning for the actual calendar itself. It says, um, you got to start somewhere, um, content ideas. So like every month it has a section for content ideas and then it has the calendar right here. It's very like cute and very simple. I know for me, I'm really trying to get more um, organized and more structured this year with my channel. I think this is an awesome investment. Um, you guys should definitely go check out her information. I'll actually leave the, um, leave the info in the description box. No, she didn't pay me to do this. I'm really just shouting her out because I think that this planner is really, really dope. So thank you love for granting me the opportunity to buy this planner from you and I look forward to using it. I hope this video inspired you guys. Um, again, my channel is all about inspiration, motivation, health, lifestyle, blah, 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 all that good stuff all in between. Um, let me know if y'all enjoy my video so far. What are some things that you plan to let go of in 2018? How you plan to let go of them? Um, and exactly how you're going to be different from last year to this year. Like, ask yourself. It's one thing to set a goal, but it's another thing to actually plan out how you're going to achieve it. Don't just say that you're going to do it. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in my next video.